Ag Day is brought to you by Authority Supreme Herbicide from FMC. Learn more at ag.fmc.com. On this Weed Wednesday, the EPA will be taking a closer look at any new pesticide active ingredients to check for the potential impact they could have on endangered species. The EPA is saying they will also test their designated critical habitats before it registers a product containing the new active ingredients. Now in the past, it typically didn't assess the potential effects of conventional pesticides on listed species when registering new AIs. The EPA says that often resulted in not enough protection and litigation. The agency is saying this new policy should reduce these kinds of court cases. Meanwhile, the EPA has issued a seven-year registration for Corteva AgriSciences Enlist One and Enlist Duo herbicides, but it also included new restrictions to protect pollinators and endangered species. EPA is saying the registration includes robust control measures to protect non-target plants and animals and will ensure growers have access to effective pesticide tools for this year's growing season. Now, the registrations will allow the products to be sprayed on cotton, corn, and soybeans in 34 states. Applicators have some new technology to investigate. Precision Planting rolling out a host of new products at its annual winter conference. It includes a sprayer boom priming and recirculation equipment and also a new nozzle control system. There's also four new vision-based technologies that include self-driving sprayers and a camera that can ID weeds and target spraying. With herbicides are expensive and I'm not spraying the whole field. I mean, I'm the guy driving the sprayer and I know I don't need a herbicide on every square inch of the farm and I'm wasting it, if, especially if it's not a residual product. Here we're going to be only, it's just like what we've been doing with variable rate dry fertilizer in the past, or limestone, only putting it where we need it. It just makes sense, it's just the precision that we've had on the planters, it makes sense to have it on the sprayers too. I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job planting for a long time. Our sprayer is spraying with the same technology as 30 years ago. You know, we just haven't changed, we haven't upgraded, and this is, this is a chance to kind of take a whole new look at spraying. Vision-based Weed ID uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to see and categorize each plant in the field as either a crop, broadleaf, or grass weed, while the targeted spraying technology is a complement allowing spray rates to be varied based on what's there. The company says a new sprayer technology will be further field tested in the spring of 2022.